Hello, welcome to Next Day Degustation. I had a nice surprise today uh, from my son. Uh, he was out in Newcastle and bought me a beer from uh, Fiber Brewery, Bladen on Tyne, Parsons Porter. 6.2% ABV, Stout Porter. Nice thing, isn't it? Um, Ingredients, water, barley, malt, oats, hops and yeast. And there's a quite nice note about uh, beer itself. And uh, person, few, uh, person. Firebrick Brewery uh, beers are themed to reflect the heritage of Bladen on Tyne near Gateshead and Newcastle in the northeast of England. It's a great beer locally brewed. Mm. The genius of Charles Argerton uh, Parsons, his inventions and his work uh, are subjects to vast and detail here and in inadequate uh, as the gesture is. Firebrick Brewery uh, raises a symbolic toast with Parsons Porter in recognition of the legacy his engineering excellence left on Tansite. And around the world, oh, of course. Uh, stout porters, double porters and extra porters were common drinks in the 19th century. The prefix just meant strong or dark. Wartime grain rationing uh, so percent of IBP for stout porters dropped from 6 or 7 to around 4 and they were simply referred to as to us stouts uh, displacing the lighter porters definitely and that's what makes the confusion what's the porter and stout <coughs> because in some iterations, you know, the stouts are more or less the same as porters, and the stout's supposed to be stronger, isn't it? Uh, our stout porter at 6.2% ABV is brewed in the old style using large volumes of brown and amber malts without reliance on black uh, patent malt. Uh, consequently, it has a complex character, deep ruby in color with a big chocolate nose and the palate is coffee, spice, rum and reasons and very gentle smoke. Well, we will see. It is a nice mm, color choose here, I think. Green and orange and green uh, uh, cup. Well, let's open it and have a try what it is. No, what it looks very nice. Look, very, very dark brown beer with a ruby accents. Definitely, I can see the uh, lamp shining through, but just a, just a lamp. Head beautiful, small bubbles, uh, slightly beige, very creamy, thick. Oh, it looks very, very nice. Aroma, definitely, first impression is uh, like uh, slightly burnt um, cake crust. Some sweetness, some fruity accents. It's like... Um, it's like a, a rich fruity cake. Um, nice. Um, you have raisins. You ha you have a little bit of um, melanoidic accent. You know the burnt crust here, and maltiness. But lots of fruitiness. Oh, this this is nice aroma. Almost like um, my 
much darker you know, like a foreign stout something something like this um, aroma well nice but very fruity very refreshing in taste very welcoming aroma huh are they talking about the um, smokiness and uh, maybe in the distance it is a such an impression of smokiness. Uh, well, I like the aroma. It's very nice. Uh, let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh, nice aftertaste. Right. So, what we have here still quite nice carbonation uh, like medium to high the body is medium to full very refreshing uh, loads of melanoidic accents like burn crust uh, roasted uh, malt, definitely. And then you have lots of fruitiness. It is a very vibrant beer. Refreshing uh, with some lemon accents, uh, slight soury, very, very refreshing and very drinkable. But on top of those roastiness and burn crust, you have a little bit of chocolate. And it's a dark chocolate uh, with their own sourness. Yeah, it's very nice, very nice beer. Mm. If you really pay attention to the taste, there is a little bit of uh, dry fruits, raisins, but it's not a very big amount. Uh, the most prominent taste is roastiness, dark chocolate. Uh, maybe some you know like, like if you would take the fruit cake and the bottom is quite burnt there is a such a taste so it's a mixture of of everything what i've described before it's a nice nice beer and still it's very refreshing and drinkable because of this this sourness and lemon accents. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, I like this beer very much. And I hope you like this review as much as I enjoy this beer. So please like it. Please subscribe my channel. And when you've done it already, hit the notification button and you put the bell. It will remind you about every new video on the channel, so you will be up to date. And because of this, you will not miss any new stations. Oh, nice beer. Cheers.